All right, welcome back to another Creature Spotlight. This time we're going to do the Dodicurus, or Didicurus, if you're going to listen to Helena Walker. I guess that's how you pronounce it now. But uh, anyway, these are the go-to dino for if you're going to be harvesting stone. I'd recommend getting a couple of them as high level as you can and breed them up. Get, get some... If you can find 150s, do it. 145, 150, breed them up. Get them as high as you can. You want to get their weight and their st and their uh, melee damage as high as you possibly can. Melee damage in particular, it uh, the more melee damage they have, the more stone you're gonna get out of a node total, maxing out like somewhere between 13 and 1400 melee damage will give you the maximum amount of stone from a node. And uh, they also have this awesome, super awesome thing where they have a 75% reduction on their weight capacity for stone. That's 50 pounds in my inventory, and I put it over here, 12.5. Just absolutely amazing. Just great, great stuff. Now I'm gonna go put this stone away so I can show you the next part. Also, like when you're looking for one of these, there's two main places that I look for them. I look for them here in the Redwoods because I'm building my main base here, so obviously it's a good spot for me to find them. Because they're, they're pretty abundant here. And the, uh, the other place would be uh, around the volcano. They're pretty easy to find on the slopes of, slopes of the volcano. Now, as long as you're not on an official PvE server or some other server that restricts uh, flyer carry, then the best way to use them is get an Argentavis, pick them up, go find some stone outcropping, I've, I've already harvested most of the stone around my base. Oh, here we go. And then just, as long as their uh, inventory is not half full, then you can just hang out right next to it here like this. And they will harvest it for you. You don't even have to get down, you don't have to put them down. They'll just do the work for you. And with that 75% weight reduction, you can get a lot of stone doing it this way. Uh, let's fly back to a little safer spot here so I can show you this next thing. The redwoods are dangerous. Uh, this, this should work. Alright, if you are stuck on a server where you can't pick things up in PvE, like you can't carry things, then you gotta actually run around on them. You're gonna need to put a few more points into health and stamina, because you don't want to get got if you're fighting something. And you still want to keep cranking the weight real hard because now you put your own weight on them. Like, I'm, a, I'm 88 pounds just with my tools and armor going into his max weight here. But uh, they, they also have this, this amazing roll. <laughs> it's so fun to use. And it's pretty fast, too. You can use it to get away from stuff. You can use it to just get around. It uses a pretty good amount of stamina, so you got to be a little bit careful with it. Maybe bring a dino or two to to keep you safe when you're out there harvesting with them. Alright, I think I've still got one down here. I can show you how to tame him real quick. Yep, he should be there. I see him. Alright, let's, let's set this, uh, this cheater bird to passive. I just spawned in a little turd so that I can make this video. We'll kill it when we're done. But... They're, just, they're a knockout tame, and they work just like any other knockout tame. Just get your your trank arrows. If you got a, just a bow and a crossbow, it's probably going to take quite a few. I mean, like a whole lot of them. So you're ju generally going to want a, uh, a long neck if you can. And you want to try and keep, keep some distance so you don't get hit. But if you don't have a trap built, you can run faster than them and avoid getting hit. You just gotta be careful of where you're at, so you don't run into something else that wants to eat you. This guy was already in a fight when I picked him up, so he might not... He might not go down before he dies, or curls up in a ball. Oh, what's it doing? Don't go that way. Oops. <laughs> well, we just killed it. It's gonna drown. Yeah, but if he wasn't drowning... Oh, we got a piranha. Let's ah, get out of the water. 
if he wasn't down there drowning, then you would do the same thing as any other tame. And you would just uh, stick your food, stick whatever food you have in their inventory. Major berries are the best berry, so if all you got is berries, be sure to use that. Uh, if you're using berries, or even crops probably, especially on official, you're going to need some narcotics or narco berries to put in their inventory and keep them asleep long enough to actually tame. Then, uh, any of the crops works fine. They're better than berries, but they're not as good as kibble. They use regular kibble, so you can use regular or above, and they'll tame up real fast. And, like, that's another reason why, uh, picking them up and dropping them in a, uh, a drop-off trap is, uh, preferable. Because they can't run away and drown themselves. But, uh, yeah, those are the main points for the Dita Curis. If you want to hear Helena Walker read her dossier, be sure to stick around. But, uh, yeah, if you liked the video, or if it helped you out, be sure to leave a like. It really helps the channel out. It helps the video get seen by more people. And uh, if you want to see more great tips like this, or you want to check out my current playthrough of Ark Descended, you can uh, subscribe, start showing up in your feed. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Stay safe out there, and uh, we'll see you next time. And uh, here's Helena Walker. Didocurus custosaxum is one of the island's non-aggressive herbivores, generally found in the mountains and grasslands. Large and well armored, it has a supply of fat under its plates to keep it warm and fed in the cold. Didocurus has adapted well to the dangers of the island, perhaps even better than the Ankylosaurus. Didocurus has two very different reactions to predators. Against smaller foes, it generally uses its spiked tail to inflict as much damage as possible. Against larger predators, however, it pulls its tail underneath itself to form a solid armoured ball that is nearly impossible for creatures to pierce, from which it can actually roll away to relative safety. Didocurus is a highly prized work animal on the island. Its spiked tail is ideal for quickly shattering the large rocks. So Didocurus is a very efficient quarry worker. In addition, its affinity for rocks has allowed it to carry stone at a reduced weight. In case their quarry gets raided, Didocurus riders have a very difficult to kill mount.